Welcome to Learn Data with Mark. In this video, we're going to learn how to deal with null arrays when using the JQ JSON processor. Okay, so we've got a test JSON file and it has an array of pets and things that they like. And you can see most of the pets have multiple likes, but Bella at the end doesn't have any. And what we want to do is we want to take, explode out that likes array so that we've got for each pet one like per line. That's the, that's the goal. So let's just update our JQ command to put in the name, the type, and then putting the likes with that array type syntax means that it's going to explode it out. And you see we get an error. It says I can't iterate over null and it's all because of Bella. So what are we going to do about that? So one way we can solve it is we can use the error suppression operator. And what that means is that if it sees like a thing that it can't read, it's just going to throw it out. So if we update our command, just put a little question mark on the end after the array syntax, then what happens is it's going to skip Bella. So you can see we've got all of the entries and there's nothing for Bella. Well, what happens if we want to include Bella? So another way that we could do this, like an extension of this, is that we can use the alternative operator. And what this does is it allows us to specify like an alternative. So if there's nothing, what should we put instead? So we could say, hey, I'm going to put the text uh, not applicable. So we could put that in. So we can go and update our command, keep the uh, error suppression as before. And then if, it's, if there is nothing, let's put in the not applicable. Uh, and now this time we get Bella and it says not applicable. But what happens if we don't like that either and we don't really want to put the not applicable, but how about we'll just have the Bella and we just won't show any likes. And so if we can, if we go back to it again, we can actually use an if else statement. And what we'll do is we'll, we'll check if there is a not applicable, let's take it out. We'll delete the likes property. Otherwise, we'll leave it as it is. And so now we have everything, all of them are there. We've got one like per line and none for Bella, which is potentially another way that we can solve this problem. And so that's the end of this video, in which we've learned a few different techniques for dealing with null arrays with JQ. If you found the video useful, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any ideas for things that we should cover in future videos, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.